John, I thought I heard you say the other day from the, that maybe Jared's foot injury wasn't quite as bad as you originally thought. Could you elaborate on that? Well, a little we, bit? we don't, we don't, we don't know, and what the uh, um, they're gonna they're gonna reevaluate here in another week or so, and then you know figure out where it goes. It would be a, an unbelievable blessing for him or us if he were able to start coming back to play. But, you know, you, you let the doctors and the experts deal with that, and uh, uh, they wanted to look at it a little bit more before they made a decision and let him feel it, see what, you know, <coughs> what he felt like. Hey, Coach, uh, do you think Garrett's injury is going to raise the pressure on winning this year, perform a little bit more than last year? And if, uh, along with him, do you think um, Washington sees any minutes at the small ball five? Well, the, the first thing is uh, I'm concerned with Jared and his health. Um, I told him, you're going to be fine, but this hurts us. You, you'll, you'll get through this, but it's going to affect us. It affects us two different ways. One, if we were to press or play a small lineup, it would have been with him in there. Second thing is um, if we were going against zone offense, the first thing you do is put him in the middle of the zone because of how he plays, passes, drives and his ability to make plays. So that changes us. Um, now we're trying to figure out how much do we press and how do we press. We're trying to figure out who do we attack in the middle of the zone, which has been one of our ways of really playing. And um, last year it was, uh, um, you know, uh, Isaiah Briscoe is who we put in there a bunch. So it could be a guard, could be a big. But we got a lot of questions to answer which is why, uh, you know, days matter for us. We're trying to figure out if guys are hurt, what do we do? Um, how do we play? What do we try to accomplish in that short period of time? For, for however, however long he's out, what will you miss since Jared off the floor and, and I guess conversely when he's back and able, what does he bring to the table? I know you have a lot of forwards, but he's even maybe a little different than the rest. He is. He, you know, the, the shot blocking team we were going to be changes with him because he may have been our best shot blocker. Um, see, when you block shots, it's not your man that you block. You're, someone else is guarding a man and you block that guy's shot. That's shot blocking. Shot blocking isn't I play a guy and I block his shot. That means you left your feet, you fouled, you're doing, my job is to occupy his eyes and you block his shot. And he was unbelievable at that. Um, so that's gonna hurt us. The ability to stretch the court out both defensively and offensively, it's going to hurt us. Um, but this gives guys an opportunity for more minutes. Maybe a Wenyan gets more minutes. Maybe a Kevin Knox gets to play multiple positions. Um, maybe there's more of a focus on PJ doing stuff. Maybe Nick or Sasha. Maybe Sasha gets his opportunity now. So, you know, one guy's misery is another guy's opportunity.